An inspiring story in Edmonds tonight as a woman makes her way from the school's cafeteria to the principal's office. Hers is a story of diversity, inclusion and aspiration. Here's King 5's Eric Wilkinson with this Facing Race report. Logan, Andrew, Gabe, Jose, Austin, please to come draw your number. Woo -hoo -hoo. The school year is winding down at Chase Community School. The last one for Justine Locke is a teacher. For the past three years, she has lived the dream she had as a little girl. When I was little, I had my stuffed animals in a circle and we had snack, we had class. I but making that dream come true wasn't easy with so few teachers that looked like her acting as role models. Learning to navigate a world where you're constantly the other. Justine has taken quite a journey to get to the classroom. She started her career in education here in the school cafeteria as a humble lunch lady. When I share this story with people, I often hear you started from the bottom. If you consider being a lunch lady the bottom, then I invite you to reimagine what education looks like to you. From those modest beginnings, a single mother of two, Justine not only became a teacher, but earlier this month earned a master's degree in education from the University of Washington. She owes much of her success to the Teachers of Color Foundation in the Edmonds School District. It gives scholarships and support to people of color who want to become teachers. In Edmonds, more than 50% of the students are not white, while about 90% of the teachers are. The numbers don't lie, and they really show you what the inequities are. Diana White is the president of the organization. When you look at the data and the numbers that our students of color aren't graduating at the same rate, they're facing higher discipline rates than, than their counterparts. And if we don't address um, you know, the disparities that are happening, um, public schools won't be successful. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. For Justine, this is the last year in the classroom for her because she's moving on to become assistant principal at Linwood High. And as she says goodbye to her kids, she is grateful to each and every one of them. Please and thank you. For helping that little girl achieve her dream. It is awesome. every single yeah. student who has been a part of this dream right, with me. Um, they are my wife. <laughs> in Edmonds, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.